What's up guys, we're watching Johnny Fabs and today we are working on our Datsun project. If you haven't seen, go check out the other videos on it. But we pulled the L28 out and we got this 5.3. Um, we are borrowing my brother's T56 Trans. So shout out to him for letting us borrow it to mock it up and see if we gotta make, uh, we're gonna make the mounts and all that for it. So we're going to be shoving this in and seeing how much we got to cut and where it all sits in the engine bay. And then from there we can go ahead and make make the mounts for it and make the trans mount. So we're going to see how it fits. So we got the fenders off, bumper off, give us some room up front to uh, fabricate the frame rails and then see where we're at with space in the uh, engine bay. So if we have to cut, grind, and that painted stuff's in the way. So yep, we're going to take side skirts off. Those are riveted on so we got to drill them out and then uh, we'll keep moving forward. So we got the motor set in there right now. Um, a thing to note is when you are doing this swap um, with the T56 trans that your stock trans mount, which is right there where that light's shining, um, you have to cut that off to clear that, that trans so it can sit up in there. But it does align to the shifter boot hole pretty well can show you that from above, but for now we just got some unistrut and a little brace keeping the trans up. So, show you the engine bay. We have the intake, uh, intake manifold off right now because the truck one sits a lot higher and we weren't able to close the hood. So we got it pretty centered and the gap by the firewall we got it pretty far back another thing to note is on the oil pan um, it's really tight getting across that rack and pinion so our first time dropping the motor in we actually undid the cross member which there's two bolts right up under there dropped it down an inch or two and uh, so we were able to slide the motor in that way um, that's another thing to note. So now that we have the motor sitting in there and pretty centered, we're going to tape measure, um, tape measure it so we know it's centered to the car for balance. And then we have these mounts here. 
These are like a do-it-yourself LS mount. We can link these below. We're borrowing this set from my brother till we can get him a replacement. So it comes with this, these brackets that go on the frame, this, and then there's a plate we already got on the motor. I don't know if we can see that down there. But that plate goes down there. So in theory, if you do use this kit, you mount it on your, your frame like that. And then you have your tube. You weld on and weld to your plate, cut this to length. So we're going to show you that uh, in the next video, so stay tuned for this. But yep, that's going to be it for the install of the motor and trans. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for more on this build.